Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be solving a geometry puzzle. An equilateral triangle and a circle are inscribed in a semicircle with radius 1. One of the vertices of the triangle is at the center of the semicircle, right here. Find the radius of the circle. Great, at this point you may just want to pause the video and try this problem first. Okay, let's get started. So we do have a semicircle with radius 1 and then we do have an equilateral triangle whose base is basically at the radius so it's the base of the triangle is just the radius okay and then it's a uh, tangent to the circle so we're supposed to find the radius of the circle which is uh, let's call that r so i'll make some connections here let's go ahead and drop a perpendicular here this way and that way and obviously that's going to help us. Alrighty. Okay. So those are perpendiculars. So let's go ahead and draw the bisector because that's going to be a bisector, right? Okay. Awesome. Now, let's see what we have. So we're trying to find the radius of the circle, which is R. We don't know what it is. Uh, so that's also R. But notice one thing about this problem is that uh, we have an equilateral triangle. And... As you know, in an equilateral triangle, the, all the angles are going to be 60 degrees and all the lengths are going to be congruent, right? So this is going to be 1. The base is 1. The other sides are also 1. Okay, let's see how this helps us. And also, it will be helpful if we extended this length here. So all the way to the end. Okay, awesome. Now, what do we know? This is also R. Great. And this is the center. And this is a point of tangency. And this is a point of tangency. Now, we know that these are two congruent triangles. And moreover, uh, these are 30, 60, 90 triangles because this has to be equal, right? So we're kind of splitting it up. And these are 30 degrees. So what is that supposed to mean? If the longer leg is R, then the shorter leg is going to be R divided by root 3. But you can just write it as R root 3 over 3. So this length would be R root 3 over 3. And this one will also be the same. Okay? All right. Awesome. Now, what else do we know? Well, if the shorter leg is r root 3 over 3, then the hypotenuse is going to be twice that. So, hypotenuse will be 2 times root 3 over 3 multiplied by r. But here's something very interesting. Well, we know that from this point to that point, it's the radius of the semicircle, which is 1. So, if you just subtract r, this hypotenuse is going to be 1 minus r at the same time, right? So, what, what I'm talking about here is, 2 root 3 over 3 r, which is the hypotenuse of this triangle here. Let me go ahead and shade it for you, right? The hypotenuse is also equal to 1 minus r. Great. And how does that help us finding r? To a great extent, this will be helpful. Okay, it'll help a great deal. Let's go ahead and do that. Now, we don't even need to use the Pythagorean theorem. We kind of did with the 30, 60, 90. But here, we do have actually a linear equation in r, right? So... We can just easily find the radius, but how? Well, we can add r to both sides, right? And then just factor out the r. And that should give us 2 root 3 over 3 plus 1. And that equals 1, okay? And then we can just go ahead and make a common denominator. That'll be uh, 2 root 3 plus 3 over 3. And then that is equal to 1. If you cross multiply, we're going to be getting r is equal to 3 over 2 root 3 plus 3. And again, uh, we can just rationalize the denominator to get a nicer answer here. And that's going to look like this. So let me go ahead and change the color here. And let's go ahead and multiply this by the conjugate, which is 2 root 3 minus 3. It doesn't really matter. It could be one way or the other. But this is better because 2 root 3 is greater than 3. So we're going to get a positive answer right away. Okay, so after you multiply the top and the bottom, the top is going to be, uh, you may or may not distribute it, but let's not distribute it right now because it's going to simplify anyways, right? Divided by, the bottom is going to be this number squared minus this number squared, and that's going to be 12 minus 9. And as you know, 12 minus 9 is equal to 3, so these two terms are going to cancel out, leaving us with a very simple answer. So the radius of the circle is going to be 2 root 3 minus 3. 
all right well thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you in the next video until then take care bye bye